There's something right over there. Looks like a school or something. Ooh, that's a big fight. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, his pole just broke. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be targeting some jacks and some large bull reds. We're at the Freeport Surfside Jetty. I've been hearing some reports that they've been running in and out along the rocks. So we're going to be throwing a big two ounce spoon at them. Hopefully we'll be able to hook up on one. We're going to fish for a couple hours. And let's see if we can get you a nice entertaining video guys. I'm so happy that you can tag along and without you guys, the channel wouldn't be in existence. So thank you so much and you guys stay tuned. Oh, there's a Spanish mackerel that just jumped right there. I just saw a Spanish jump right here. Definitely Spanish mackerel here today. I saw them jump. I saw one jump right now. See, there's Spanish right there. Oh yeah, there's Spanish. Yeah, look, Spanish mackerel all up here. I'm using a half ounce right now. I got one thump, but they're there. I don't know exactly the size of the bait that they're hitting. Looks like the small fries. Okay, this ain't working. Let's change out back to the two ounce spoon. You can get thumped anymore. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally. Yep, I got one. Yep, there we go. Finally. <laughs> I'll take them. Nice finish. Yes. He's a decent size too. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful guy. They are slippery. Look what they're eating, guys. Look, look at all these small bait fish. They are killing out there. All right, let's let you go. I would keep you normally, but I'll let you go there, buddy. Nice. See, look at this, guys. Look at what they're eating. These small little bait fish. That's what we're seeing. Tons of them all over here. You don't have to go that far. They're literally within 20 yards of me. Picking off this bait. There we go. That's another fish. I had another bite guys. I missed them. I missed them. I missed them. They're all up here. Let's see if we can get one to bite. See they're right here, right here. You see these splashes right here? Those are Spanish. And you'll occasionally see them go airborne. There we go. That's another Spanish. Yep. He's a smaller guy. Not as big as the one I just caught earlier. First one, but still, I keep I'll take it. These are all keeper Spanishes. Fun, fun fish to catch. They're like rocket ships, I swear to you. Slimy, slippery guys too. Look at that beautiful fish. Keeper. There we go. In the water. <laughs> Lots of fun. If I can't catch jacks, I'll catch Spanish. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a jack. Oh my god. That's a jack. That's a jack. That's a jack. Yep, that's a jack. Got him. Oh my god. All right, here we go. This is going to be a fight, guys. Here's a smaller jack. I saw his fin. Finally got him. He's going to be a smaller guy. He's not a big guy, but still, nonetheless, got him. Hopefully, my leader line will hold. He's digging down really hard. Really hard. I just need to figure out the way to horse him in. Let's loosen up that drag a little bit. This doesn't break my line. He's right here. Let's get the bugger ready. Yeah, nice jack. All right, man, my first jack this year. Hopefully, might not my last. These dudes fight hard, so hard. Regardless, it's a nice jack. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to bring him in. My God. All right, this is a challenge, guys. Bringing these big fish in. All right, got them on the rocks, which is good. I'm gonna get wet a little bit here, guys. Oh God, come on, come on, wave. Give it to me, there we go. 
Got him. Got him. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go guys. Freeport Jetties is hot. Smacks and jacks. Let's get this out of his mouth. I didn't bring my pliers. Look at those chompers, man. Such a magnificent fish. All right, let's see how big this guy is. Oh, he is, uh, all right, come on, Boga. 23 pounds. 23 pound jack. A beautiful fish. Yeah, beautiful. Woo. All right. Hurry up and get him in the water. There he goes. There he goes. Guys, the jetty is hot. Come out while you can. Freeport jetties. Smacks. Tons of small little baits. Jacks all over the place. This is my first one. Those guys down there are hooking up bent rods everywhere. I mean, it's insane. I think people already pulled up at least five jacks and I've only been here one hour. It's crazy. Come out while you can, man. That's crazy, man. You just never know what you're gonna catch. I was just targeting Spanish because I had my opportunity to catch jacks, but they, uh, they're coming and going very sporadically. And uh, when I was targeting that Spanish, he just came up and exploded on that topwater. I was keeping that topwater right at surface. Insane, man. You just never know. You never know. Yeah, I just saw one Spanish go airborne right there. So we can kind of intercept them right here. Another one? Nice! There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Nice. Another keeper. Another keeper Spanish. <laughs> this is like too easy, man. There you go. Okay, my Asian friend just hooked up with a huge, huge Spanish. Hold on, hold on. Huge. I'm talking about monster. Very big. Wow, that's a big Spanish. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's a 25 inch Spanish. Here you go, my friend. Oh, thank you, my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a big Spanish. Yeah, no worries. So crazy. They're like right here. All these birds, you see all these birds? These squalls? There we go. There's a fish. Try to keep my line tight. Keep them on. They get off easily. Oh man. God, I've been like my seventh or eighth freaking Spanish today. <laughs> Too many Spanish. But there's so much fun to catch because it's so aggressive. There we go. There we go. Whew, if I hooked every single one and brought them in, God, I would have had eight, eight plus, man. That's how, that's how aggressive they are today. It's amazing. Uh, later, guy. All keeper too, no undersize. It's amazing. They're all right here, right in front of me. It's not even funny. It's like playing PlayStation. All right, guys. My GoPro took a, took a crap on me. I hooked into five more. I was just, I didn't even uh, try to reset my GoPro because I was, I was just having so much fun. They're like right here, literally, they're still here. Check out my hands. Look how scaly it is with all the Spanish mackerel that I've been catching. Look at my pants, how nasty it is. My rod and reel. Look at that. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can catch some more. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Oh my god, what is this? Is this another jack? Or it has to be a, no, it's got to be a big Spanish. Oh my god. He just pulled some drag and I had it cinched down too. Oh yeah, that's a nice Spanish. Come on in here, buddy. <laughs> my god it's a 20 incher at least 22 we got out here. oh i already caught a jack bro mr Brotato. Oh, okay. you want this one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's a monster man look at this guy that's a monster right there uh man you're uh spot licking me man <laughs> spot licking pot licking, pot licking. all right ladies and gents I'm gonna call it quits. It's only 8 a.m. Can you believe that? I was out here for one hour, caught into a 23 pound jack, hooked into, I would say, minimum a dozen 
Spanish mackerel was only able to bring into shore about six of them. Hey, but still, I'll take that any day of the week. It's freaking hot, absolutely hot. Rods are bent from left or to my right, all the way down that way. Everyone was hooking to Spanish mackerel. I would say maybe about four to five jacks were caught. It's super, super hot, so much bait. The water is very clear, pretty green in my opinion, very calm. It's a great time to be at the jetty. So if, I, if you haven't come out, come out, bring a two ounce spoon, a one ounce spoon and a half ounce spoon, bring three rods, that's what I recommend. A nice rod and reel setup. Look at what O18 offers. Uh, get you a nice reel to go with it and just start tossing and have a lot of fun. Be prepared to hook into a jack, man. Those things are crazy. And uh, don't do what I did where I single-handedly went down to the rocks and got that jack by myself. It's because I have cleats on my Sims boots here. And that has helped me crawl down the slippery, slopey rocks, uh, the algae filled rocks that you see in the jetties. It could be a very dangerous situation, but uh, yeah, had a lot of fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment sections what you think, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.